Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we're making a healthy Chinese soup, 莲藕排骨汤 which means lotus root and pork ribs soup. Cantonese cuisine contains lots of soup recipes. They all have the same idea, which is healthy. This recipe is one of them. I grew up with Cantonese soup. It is one of the things that are always in our dinner table. It's so easy to make. So let's get started. I got here one pound of pork short ribs. It is about one and a half inches size. You just cut it into individual pieces. It is better to use golden sweet corn. We want the sweetness to transfer into the soup. Just cut each corn in half. Lotus root is one of our favorite ingredients to put into the soup. Discard the end because it is very tough. Peel the skin and cut it into two thirds of an inch thick pieces. We are going to blanch the ribs to remove the bloody crumbs because we like the soup to be clear. Add some Chinese cooking wine along with one and a half liter of water. Cover it, bring this to a boil. Take out the ribs and discard the water. In another clean pot, add in the blanched ribs, the sweet corn, lotus root. Adjust them so they fit into the pot. Keep adding four slices of ginger, six pieces of red date. If you don't have it, some dry plums will work as well. This is goki berry. It looks like raisins, except it's red. I heard it has lots of health benefit. If you're interested, go Google it. And if you don't have it, you can use raisins. Half teaspoon of white peppercorn. You can also use black if you don't have it. One piece of spring onion. Six cups of water. The liquid should be enough to cover all the ingredient. Put on the lid. Bring this to a boil. Now you can add some salt. Mix it up and taste it to make sure it fits your taste. Turn the heat to low. Let it simmer for about one and a half hour. Before you serve, take out the ginger and the soggy spring onion. There you go, a healthy Cantonese soup. In my family, we usually will have a little soup before you start the dinner. You know, to get your stomach ready to eat. <laughs> also, you will have some soup right after you finished, so everyone else knows that you are done. Then they won't keep adding more food to your plate. <laughs> To me, I think it's a pretty smart way to eat dinner because you will never stuff your stomach hundred percent full because part of it just a healthy soup, right? <laughs> mm, right there, one sip brings me back home. <laughs> it's not. A strong flavor. It is so rich and natural, slightly sweet and comfortable. <laughs> I hope you give this or my other recipes a try soon. If you haven't yet, click my channel name and find your favorite Chinese food. New videos comes out every Wednesday. I'll see you next time. Bye.